my channel and today's video is going to be a DIY crochet braidless hair tutorial. If you're interested in seeing more how I will achieve this look, then stay tuned. Alright guys, so just getting started, I have already sectioned my hair out. This is freshly washed hair. I am 100% natural now, so I've completely cut all of my relaxed hair off. This is everything natural here. I was going to film myself doing my um, wash and detangle and deep condition, but listen, that process is very long and my arms were already about to fall off, so I just wanted to go ahead and get right into the video. I've already washed, like I said, and detangled my hair. I did deep condition it as well as moisturize it because you do have to moisturize your hair with any type of protective style. And I also trimmed a couple of my ends off that I saw no need to keep in there. So I've already um, pretty much styled my hair to the, you know, of my liking. And in the back, I can't see, so hopefully you guys don't trash me in the comments for my part. I have already sectioned these two pieces down and I went ahead and laid my edges down as well and I tied it up for about 20 minutes just to make sure that my edges are laying properly. And at the top, I only did like a little mini ninja bun, as you can see. And I saw a couple of videos where they start the part to the back here from ear to ear, but I wanted to try something a little different simply because my hair is a lot more thicker um, than most of the girls I've seen in the videos as well as, um, I just think for styling purposes, it was going to be easier for me to do my hair this way. So just a little higher up ninja bun with my hair more sleek down in the back. So I did go ahead and braid the braid, the puff in the back and pin it down, which I will remove that hair pin once we get further up into the tutorial. So the hair that I'm going to be using is the 100% um, Kanekalon, I think that's how you pronounce it, Kanekalon? or Kanekalon, I don't know, Kanekalon. And it's the Jamaican Bounce brand, it's 26 inches and I got it in a 1B. I did want to do the, I think it's like a um, 1B 27, like that ombre color, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I said, well, I'll just play it safe for the first time and use this color, which is more closer to my hair color. And I'll show you guys what the curl looks like. And I just found it at my local beauty supply. They're like $7.99 a box. So I bought four boxes just in case. Alright. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like fresh out of the box. And it already comes pre-looped, as you can see. Right there, it's already pre-looped for you. And of course, I already had a crochet needle because I've crocheted my hair before, but that time it was actually on cornrows. So this I'm going to try on just the slick down method and see how it comes out. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the crochet method. You want to uh, make sure that your latch is open like so. And then once you get the hair through, the, through your hair, you're going to go ahead and connect the loop here see that and then once that's hooked you're going to go ahead and close that up and then it's going to slide directly through your hair so i'll try to go ahead and do a demonstration because i want this video to go pretty fast i don't want it to take forever to just show you how to do it step by step but i will go ahead and show you like a couple of braids um, to get it started okay so we're going to go ahead and start to the back and i'm going to try to get as close as to my bun as you can see it I'm going to go ahead and put my loop through here, just close to my bun. And it doesn't have to go so closely inside of your hair, but just close enough. As you can see, it's looped in. I don't know if you can see that. But if you know how to crochet, then you pretty much get the gist of it. And you want to go ahead and pull that hair. See how it's doing that? And then you can leave the loop out here. Go ahead and connect it over. Depending on how tight you want it, you can double you can double the knot as well. And then of course you're gonna go and do those a couple more times as close around the bun as
guys so as you can see it is coming along fairly nicely however some pieces of my hair is shorter than the other so like this side of my hair you can see where some of the hair is starting to come up a little bit so i have to move a little bit faster and probably reapply some more gel to it whereas this side is not so bad so i'm trying to move as fast as i can because i don't want it to um, start curling up as you can see what is going on this side right here so I'm going to go ahead and keep moving up and then when I get to the top, I'll be able to go ahead and give you guys a full demonstration of the bun. I finished the bottom portion of my hair. When I say my arms are like about to fall off, not because of the install of this, but just with me having to wash my hair earlier, condition it, detangle, all of that good stuff. But either way, this is almost the finishing product. There are some stringy pieces that I'm going to um cut off with my razor comb at the end i just want to make sure that i have more than enough hair and see i didn't want to put too much um in the back remember where my bun was you can barely even see it so i didn't want it to be so full because i don't have a big head i have a really small head but a lot of hair if that makes sense so i didn't want to put too much um hair where it like overwhelms my face or it looks like it's way too much hair on my head i didn't want to look crazy bottom line so now i'm going to move on to my top bun and go ahead and record that part for you i think i am going to do a um a rubber band method where i'll show you guys what i mean now okay so the rubber band method looks like this which is where you basically put some hair on a stretchy or scrunchy rubber band whatever you want to call it and that way when you get to the top part of your hair let me pull my camera back some you're just going to go ahead and wrap it around two or three times and then you'll tie the bun that way it gives it that little you know effect so i'm going to go ahead and put a couple more on here i only have about two no i need to put a whole lot more than just those two i'm going to fill this up and then I'll come back. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of pieces here in the back of my hair. And then I am gonna go back in and clean up, like I said before, all these little stringy pieces right here. So don't worry about that. Um, the hair just kind of gets stuck inside the crochet when you pull it out and loop it and things like that. But it's okay, you can always go back in and change it out. So again, you want to get as close as to your bun as possible. Go ahead, put that loop in there, or the hair on the loop, clamp it, pull it through, and voila. See, this is where it gets messy sometimes. Okay. You guys, I'm so excited about this because I've done crochet um hair in my well i've done crochet braids before but it was like those twists y'all saw when i did those little um the twist but with this method without using like braids or anything i was afraid of what it was actually going to look like so i'm really proud of myself that it actually is coming out fairly nicely i will say that so i will give myself a pat on the back for that and again, here we go. Close up of that loop, that needle. And don't worry, it's still there. It's still there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take my hair, loop it in there. I don't know how good you guys can see it. Close the clamp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, this one is doing something different. Let me try it again. Okay, yeah, this is where it gets a little tricky sometimes. So you want to just make sure that you take your time. It's okay. You don't want to um, pull out your own hair as well as mess up your neat, slick down bun. So you want to just take your time. It's okay. We'll get a little stringy here and there, but it's okay. And then there you go. So it depends on how full you want your bun to be. This is not full enough for me because I am still going to 
do like a wrap around thing here and let the end pieces hang over that way it covers my part here just a little bit of my part will be showing just the front edges part so again you want to go ahead and string up a couple more just to fill in the pieces So the last step of the night, as you can see, we are all done, fully installed. I'm just overwhelmed because it's so hot in here. These lights are like all over the place. So you want to take a little bit of hair, possibly just from the side of your, um, I'm going to take this out of my mouth, possibly just from the side of your bun. That way you can give it a clean one sweep wrap around. See how that's doing? And you don't want it, it's all blending in with my hair but what I want to do is just take a little bit of this hair from the outside and you can't even see what my bun was at first and then we're gonna just wrap that around because we want to secure those pieces right there or kind of just hide them and you can do them as tight as you want I personally don't want it that tight because it's already a little too tight but Go ahead and fray your ends here. Ooh. Okay, and then just go ahead and wrap it. Some of my hair is starting to stick out, but I'm gonna go back in and retouch that up with some gel and a toothbrush. And again, you wanna go ahead and get a bobby pin, secure that piece in the back, pin it in, and voila, we are done. Now you can fluff yours out as much as you want to your liking. I want to see how it's going to act this this way for right now because I like it this way. I like the big curls and this is something very different for me. Um, it is definitely a big hairstyle. I normally don't do big curly hairstyles like this unless it's that other style I always wear. Um, that's on my Instagram and I'll probably put it at the end of this video but this is really pretty I like it it's very subtle it was very easy to do um I don't know exactly how long it took but it didn't take that long like I said if I wouldn't have had to freshly wash my hair and things like that I probably would have been done in maybe an hour tops so again this is the final finishing look oh this hair oh hair in my mouth <laughs> this is the finished look guys and i'll go ahead and give you a full 360 look guys so this is the finishing look just want to give you guys a close-up on those baby hairs yeah girl but no this is it guys very simple and easy to install you can barely see where the hair starts and where the crochet stops so again I hope that you guys liked this video please give us a big thumbs up don't forget to put your comments down below if you've tried this style before or if you're interested in trying this style and if you haven't become a member of the family already don't forget to subscribe once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Just see the sleigh bells ring, 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 ring.